Hi, I'm Rob at the Hay Needle Fulfillment Center in Monroe, Ohio. This is a short video on the assembly of the Pierce Black Filing Cabinet. The estimated time on this assembly is around half an hour to 45 minutes. The only tool you will need for this assembly is a Phillips head screwdriver, which is not provided. Open your box and remove all the pieces. When using a sharp object, always remember to cut away from yourself. Cut along the tape on the seam, making small cuts so you don't damage the product. Once you've removed all your pieces, locate your instructions. Inside you'll find a parts and hardware list. Take a brief inventory to make sure you have all the pieces needed for this assembly. First, we're going to pre-assemble our piece two. To do this, first, using your pegs labeled as C, place one into each of the four holes on the side of number two. Next, using your hardware labeled as A, into each of the four screw holes in the side of two, screw into place using a Phillips head screwdriver be careful not to over tighten just like so. Next we'll be attaching our piece 4. To do this we'll be using our black cam lock labeled as B. Put the black cam lock into the bottom of 4 making sure the arrow in the cam lock is pointing down to the hole. And slip over your peg and dowel rod and using a Phillips head screwdriver turn to the right just till you feel it tighten. Repeat this step for your second piece four right next to your first. After you tighten this piece four into place, locate your piece six and using again the black cam lock B attached right next to your second number four and tighten into place. Next we'll attach our piece five using again the black cam lock labeled B place into the bottom hole and on to your last peg and dowel rod using a Phillips head screwdriver again to tighten into place. Now repeat all of these steps to attach your piece three. Now with the groove side exposed on your pieces two, three, and five take your piece seven and from the top slide into the grooves until it reaches the bottom. Now starting with your black cam locks B, place into the side holes like so. And also using your hardware C, place into the top of the cabinet and repeat these steps for the opposite side. Now we're going to pre-assemble our piece one. To do this, using your hardware labeled as A, place one in the four screw holes in the back of one. Screw into place using a Phillips head screwdriver. Remember to not over tighten. Now that we have our pegs A on our piece one, with the groove side in the back of your cabinet, place on top, putting the pegs into the holes into the cams. One of your cams may fall out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put it back in. And we're going to tighten the cams from the inside with our Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure you tighten all four securely. Now we are going to assemble our top drawer. To do this, start with your piece 10. We're going to use our hardware labeled as A, put one into the two holes and screw into place using your Phillips head screwdriver. Next, take your piece 9, making sure the groove matches the groove on 10 place like so. And using your cam locks, now your silver labeled G, place into the holes and tighten with your Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat these steps 
with your opposite side using your piece 8. Now that we have our pieces 9 and 8 attached to our piece 10, take your piece 11 and in the grooves of 8 and 9, slide down into the groove of 10. Next, take your piece 12 and in the groove of 12, slide onto the top of 8 and 9 and tighten down this hardware labeled as D with a Phillips head screwdriver into the four holes in the back of 12. Next we'll be assembling our bottom drawer. First, using our piece 13 and our hardware A, place one into each of the four holes in the back of 13. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten into place. Remember not to over tighten. Next, take your piece number nine and with the grooves facing the same way as the grooves on 13, place over the pegs and again using your silver cam locks labeled as G, place into the holes and use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten them into place. Repeat these steps with your opposite side and your piece 8. Now that you have your pieces 8 and 9 attached to your piece 13, take your second piece 11 and slide it down through the grooves in 8 and 9 to the groove in 13. Then retrieve your piece 14 and connect the groove to the piece 11 and using the hardware D place 4 into the back and tighten into place using the Phillips head screwdriver. Now we'll attach our handles labeled as E to our drawers. To do this line up the holes in the handle with the pre-drilled holes in the drawer and using our hardware labeled as F, we're going to tighten into place using a Phillips head screwdriver. Now this step is to apply our file holders to our bottom drawer. You'll see there are two holes in the drawer. Pick either the farthest or closest one, first placing it in the back and then into the front like so. Now all that's left to do is add your drawers and enjoy your new filing cabinet.